All right, uh, so this is a, a new course and inside this uh, series of tutorials you are going to see how we can make and design a um, business card. Previously we have uh, make uh, a business card but in this tutorial we are going to see and explain the process from uh, designing a business card from scratch and how we can make the mock-up for this business card. So basically we will use this uh, template. I, I, I think uh, we will not use the templates, we will uh, try to make it from scratch, but we will use this concept. What you should know before, you should have the, as an uh, uh, basic knowledge of the Adobe Photoshop, no matter uh, what version uh, you use. I'm using the CS5, and uh, you will uh, have access uh, to uh, use this pattern. Uh, to, uh, so you can use this website to uh, get your pattern from scratch. We will use some black pattern and all of these patterns are uh, free to use. So uh, before starting we, we will use a uh, file new and uh, making the centimeters to be width to be 9 and height to be 5. And big per inch will be 500 or 300 because we will uh, print this uh, business card and we will use the CMYK. Then we will click OK and we will save this file as an the front. So uh, we will open. So this is the background. We will get this background. Click here and click uh, double click here. And after that, we will go here and uh, make this to be the background. After that, we will uh, make a new guideline. And this guideline will be vertical. 50-100% and after that we will uh, use a view new guideline to be horizontal to be 20% and the view new guideline to be horizontal to be 82 such as this and then we will add uh, some background or a uh, new rectangle such as this basically the background or uh, this layer has some pattern so we will uh, click on this layer and convert to be a new layer and un unlock this layer and uh, after that uh, we will open the so uh, these are uh, two patterns uh, which are uh, which are for free we can use this and we can use it. I found that this is suitable for us so I will define it as a pattern and define as a pattern and then close this file we will not we we, we didn't need it anymore so uh, we will open the pattern overlay and it will be here and I think that it's uh, small than usual so we will make it such as this and make it color overlay of uh, I think of this color let's see this is the color that we want to make in the background so we will make it a uh, color overlay of this color and uh, let's let's use color which is similar to this and the brightness maybe 11 or 12 and uh, there is a um, yellow bar which is here Alright, so we will uh, make an uh, yellow bar. I will use uh, the rectangle. We can use also the round 
and uh, radius of two pixel and such as this this will be yellow if you state you can copy this color and paste it here and now we are done here I will type the name so I will type here my name in bold and I will after that a group all files so I will type my name and after that I will group all of these to be control G to be back ground and uh, this will be a font which is maybe bold such as this one and the font to maybe 11 I will make some space here and this one, one to be such as this and uh, we can type of course and uh, here I will I will I have used the source sense pro and uh, the font will be smaller than this one maybe nine and and start from here so uh, I will make it to be maybe nine or ten and starting from here so I will align both of these to be here and all right after that uh, we want three icons such as this one of the most important uh, sources that you should use which so uh, this source has a lot of icons we will search for phone and uh, three icons only we will use this one and this one download as png and uh, we have to use also the email maybe telegram and location so uh, we uh, want to have the location And also we want the email so I will type uh, the mail icon we can use it all right uh, so we have now three icons all right uh, so I, ha I have downloaded the three icons and I want to make them the, s the same size uh, so I will scale it control T and maybe 40 and 40 let's make it 3 5 and 35 and also this icon will be smaller and maybe 70 and 70 maybe 60 percent and 60 percent all right and for the phone we will make it to be flip horizontal and control T and the scale 25 and here the scale to be 25 also I will scale to be horizontal and 90% and 90% right then 
we have to make the an rectangle and let's make the fill to be zero and the stroke to be such as this and it will be three right uh, so the, the stroke will be white and the icon will be yellow uh, then uh, we must uh, make the icon in the center so i select both of these and make them such as this and after that i will scale the icon uh, then I will group uh, both of these. Then I will duplicate this group to be two and duplicate group to be three then uh, we can move it to be here and align uh, them to be here uh, then i will place the icons correctly uh, let's uh, copy this layer and uh, copy layer style and paste it to this icon and paste it uh, to this icon. so we have to copy this layer style and paste it here and paste it here another time and after that I will remove the old icon and remove this icon move uh, it to be in the three and scale and after that we can So uh, we will move here and Now we have the icons, let's place our uh, fonts or the details and the contact details. Uh, this will be the logo, of course, and uh, this will be the title or name. We will save. And uh, then Uh, then I will type uh, any phones. Uh, it will be maybe seven. And I will copy the phone number. Control J and move it to be here. Alright, uh, then I will copy another time and I make it to be example at mail.com or you can type any mail and for the location we will copy another time and I will say it will be then make it uh, such as this I will save and let's see what we have later
there is some shadows so we will select this layer and make a drop shadow this drop shadow will be from this direction and distance may be uh, 4 spread will be 2 size will be 2 or maybe larger 22 distance maybe 10 let's see what we have then uh, the uh, last uh, the last step is to add the logo uh, i assume uh, that you have your own logo but i will try uh, i will paste my uh, own logo here all right so i have based my own logo and uh, this is the final <coughs> result for <coughs> excuse me so this is the final result and uh, in the next video we will uh, see how we, to, how, how we can make the back of this uh, card so see you in the next video